All right, connecting stream to software. And it says we're live, but I have no picture. That would be pencil sharpener. Hey, we're live. There we go. We are live. And uh, yeah, that's it. Okay. I've had zero tea this morning, so we're gonna have some tea right now. Mm -hmm. Hey, here's our friends joining us. Hello, everybody. Wow, Kermito's early today. Hey, Kermito. I saw Kermito in the um, premiere I did yesterday. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Brandy B is here and says, good morning. How you doing? And Sir Roach is here. We have a Bethany Primrose. Dalton has joined. Celine is here. Rose says good morning. Wow, Ray is starting off early with Can I See the Reference? <laughs> well, these are the references I'm looking at. This one, this one, and that one. I swear he looks like he could be a Disney villain. Yep, that works. Um, hi from Australia, it's midnight here. Hello, you are um, up late. We are doing the Verve today, Gail. Gail's here, by the way. Hey, Gail. Haley. Oh, wow, I've never been to one of your lives. I can't believe I made it in time. Well, welcome. Welcome. Daniela says, hi, Scott, I love you. I love you too, Daniela. Zoya says, good morning to all. Um, I'm doing much better. Thanks, Zoya, I appreciate it. I am doing better. <coughs> Good luck with your assignment, kiddo. Okay. Um, hello from Norway again. I think I am. Leon is here. Oh, Leon bit the bullet and started their own YouTube channel. Good for you. Hey, Leon. Steph Nerd says morning. Hey, Steph. Celine says love the Disney villain photo. <laughs> yeah, I funny. flipped it and I think I'm going to do that. All right. So let me. Uh, today's tea. I went with the black box. Um, Barry's tea today. I have a smidge of a headache this morning, so I thought we would cut it off at the pass with some heavy duty caffeine. So that is the tea of the morning. Everybody have a good weekend. Yeah. How are you guys? Was we how? Let me try that again. How was your weekend? Hi guys, love you. I want to meet you. Oh, thank You're you. You're sweet. Um, All right, let's see. Here starts we go. with a V, and I love your art. Mm -hmm. Hi from Denmark. Hi from Saudi Arabia. It's Elvis Presley's birthday. Is says it really? Patrick. Apparently. Kermito finally opened up an Instagram. Super excited to start posting. Oh, fun. Well, you will have to follow us so we can follow you back. Let us know when you're posting. Um, hello from Iran. Hello. Northern Ireland, Bulgaria, Romania. <laughs> oh, Mark, you're okay. Nobody's going to hate you for the rest of the semester. You're going to be fine. Hey, Tommy says, good morning. We're expecting snow tonight. Never ready for snow. I hope you had a wonderful weekend. Uh, Love the dragon. Thank you. Yeah, did you guys see the dragon paint? The, the, not paint, I, I not posted a, a, a horizontal uh, video yesterday, so I know a lot of you may not have seen it, but um, I felt like it needed that, you know? Well, so everybody could see the whole thing. Yeah. Oh, no. He's got, his cheekbones are like that. Ra razors. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> I do. I do remember you. Thank you for commenting. Massive storm in their town. Oh, wow. I hope you guys are all okay. Yeah. Tell uh, everyone who you're drawing today and who won for the oh, whole I, I forgot the, the, the person's name, but uh, it's the, the band is The Verve. They did Bittersweet Symphony, which, you know, like, I think everybody knows that song. Yes. And um, the the lead singer, I swear, looks like a Disney villain. <laughs> hey, Bethany, what's this guy's name? Because she's got all the names in her head. 
never ceases to amaze me. Good morning from Kansas. Good morning. Oh, you're funny. Wow. He's got this long um, shadow. Let's see. He's got a crooked nose and sunken cheeks. Richard Ashcroft, that's his name. Ashcroft. <clears throat> let's see. <laughs> Megan says, as of last night's Amazon delivery, I now own five different supplies from Scott's resource list, and I'm so excited to use them. Oh, gosh. <laughs> You're so funny. Well, I hope you enjoy them and you get some good art out of it. Um, Megan says, I've got back into quilting, and I'm finishing my son's quilt that I started for him when he was a baby, and it's been five years. Wow. I get that. You're so busy. I get that. But good for you for getting back to it. Gail says, yes, his face is very angular and gaunt. Gaunt is a good word. It is a great word. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Let's see. Mm, Nor wants to know, can you please give some of us your best advice when it comes to um, trying out art? Thank you. Trying out art? To, just to art. Um, my, my best advice is always draw everything every day. I think a lot of people don't um, draw what they see, they draw what's in their head. And, and I think they're missing out on so much learning from drawing just the world around them. Just general things. I think the other thing is just to not... Um, Not be afraid to make mistakes because art is all about making mistakes. I mean, you, you guys saw how often I erased on the dragon piece and how, how many times I paint over my backgrounds and, and whatnot. It's, it's really just a matter of um, just keep doing it, keep doing it, keep doing it. It's, it's, I've learned that it's not, um, you're not always going to get what you want, uh, so you got to just keep doing it, and then every once in a while, you'll get it. It's kind of like, um, I know it's a bad analogy, but you know those box of chocolates, like the Forrest Gump kind of box yes. of chocolates, you know? You don't know which one of those is going to have, like, peanut butter in them, or, or almonds or something good. And you're gonna sometimes get stuff that has coconut or like a raspberry or I don't know something disgusting. And uh, but you keep doing it till you get the right one, and that's it. You don't have to finish eating those uh, the, the nasty ones. You can throw you those don't. away. You do not indeed. A lot of people are having snow today. Oh really? Mm-hmm. Um. What marine creature do you and Donna like most? Um, I, it, would, a, would a sea otter be a marine creature? Yes, it would. Then I like sea otters. There you go. Except that that's my favorite too. So, oh, no. But, however, I will tell you, I started following this new channel on um, Instagram. The one it's with the like, corgi butts? No, corgi butts are so good though. No, it's an octopus channel. Okay. And um, they're very interesting. And they have like the coolest, like they're so smart and they're so interesting. And it's like- Blow dryer. Oh, blow dryer. Okay, we'll just hold on. Okay, go ahead. Oops. There you go. Anyway, so there you go. It's Monday, bear with me. Um. Oh, you changed your name. Okay, you guys can't possibly expect me to remember you if you're going to keep changing your names. <laughs> um, I need more Payne's Gray. Oh, <gasps> no. We're running out of Payne's Gray? No, I just need more Payne's Gray. I don't know what to say. Do we have more in the drawer? 
Uh oh, SpaghettiOs. Dun 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 dun. Why'd you have a different brand? Okay, that was a close one. We found the Payne's Gray. Yeah. So I had to get um, Artist Gouache Payne's Gray by M. Graham and Company. Uh-oh. Gouache is gouache. Mm-hmm. We'll see. Um, Chrissy is on their way to a new school today. I hope you have a good Ooh. day. Good luck. Have a great day. Patrick got a record player yesterday. Oh, nice. One Up Girl has joined. Hey, what up, girl? Um, hey, Lula's here. Hey, Lula. <laughs> She's got a snow day. Um, let's see. I got watercolors and a sketchbook for Christmas, and I've been practicing with your Draw Everything Everyday playlist, and it has been so helpful. Thank you. That's Kaylee. Oh, that's great. Um... Okay, Drenick says that they made a character that looks very similar to a different one I've seen once. Is There's a few differences, but I don't want to come off as a thief. Should I scrap the character? Um, it, it depends. Um, it, it looks like somebody else's character. Mm-hmm. I mean, characters look alike. I mean, there's only so many variations uh, that you can do. Um, I don't know. Uh... I mean, my a lot of my characters. I I think every single character I've ever designed, I've designed based off of. I like this character from this fandom, and I want that person to look like that. And then I change a couple things to it, if that makes sense. It sounds like that's what they did. Yeah. They changed a couple things, but they still feel like they're. It's maybe too close. I mean, it's always better safe than sorry, but I mean, don't don't overthink it is what I'm saying. That, yeah. that That's all. Just don't overthink it. Think it, but don't overthink it. Yeah. Um, let's see. You've got fans from Montenegro. Oh, nice. And you still hate uh, drawing hands. I do. There you go. Um... And Rachel's watching. Good morning, Rachel. Good morning. Be good for mom. Um, let's see. Blow dryer. Oop, let me mute you. Go ahead. Um. Okay, um, Misan, your question, it doesn't make sense to me. I'm drawing natural views because I suck at watercolor. So you're talking about something that you're drawing as opposed to the medium. What are you asking? Should you draw something that you're seeing or should, are you asking if the medium is the problem? Because that question doesn't make sense to me. Um, okay, if you're having a problem with the tea not being sweet enough, you gotta just add sugar because a lot of teas that are sweet are still gonna need sugar. You'll have to add a sweetener to it if it's not sweet Or honey. Yeah, or honey. But if you have allergies, be careful with the honey. I'm just saying. Um, let's see. What is your favorite chocolate combination? Peanut butter. Oh, really? I don't know. I just like chocolate. Yeah, but it has to be a combination. I don't want a combination. I just want the chocolate. No, you like chocolate and raspberry for your cakes. Yeah, that's true. I do like chocolate with the raspberry filling. Yeah. Um, I'll be answering all of Donna's personal questions from now apparently on. Apparently he will, yes. That's that's the morning we're having today. So apparently that's, that's it. Blow dryer. Ay, 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 again? <laughs> blow dryer. It's Monday. Can you guys tell? Can you just feel the? It's 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 Monday. Um. Okay. 
Um, animations is from Ireland and asks if we've ever been there because it's beautiful and we should visit. We have uh, not, no, but you are on our list of on places our to visit. List. Yep, yep. We want to go there. Let's see. Um, so let me ask you if you guys can see. Let me take this off. And tell me if you can see. Can you see the blues in here and the greens over here? Can you guys see that? Maybe if I zoom out. You see those those greenish bit, kind yeah. of bluish colors in the skin right here? There's some purples. You got those deep reds under the eyes. Those are visible. Yeah. That's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing like greens and blues in here and purples and grays and then the reds under the eyes. Yeah, we're seeing a lot of it. Um, let's see. Okay. Uh, Crimson says hi and is watching with their little sister and they love art and love watching you paint. Hello. Well, nice to paint with you. Amy says hello from the UK. How is your morning going? Uh, so far, so good. I'm painting a, a, a Disney villain, it seems. Yeah, we are doing well this morning. Yes, they can see the colors. His cheekbones are as sharp as diamonds. Right? You guys are funny. He really, seriously, the guy's got some serious cheekbones. Yeah, they can see it. For the first time, I actually see the blues and greens. Um... All right, blow dryer. Okay, hold on, hold on. Go ahead. Um, <coughs> I would use, um, I don't know if you're in the United States or not, but Trader Joe's has a really good sugar. It's a raw sugar. You can probably find it um, in multiple places, but I use organic raw sugar. It's got more molasses-y taste to it. Um, yeah, so I, I would do that if you don't like honey. Um, he told me he says yes and he seems to glow for fluorescent <laughs> yeah so funny. okay we're gonna finish this series first and then the next series is probably gonna be the 70s but we're still finishing this first and yeah. he's also gotta paint the dragon paint I gotta finish the dragon finish um, this and then I'll take a break and then I'll start up with the 70s and then my next big painting okay so I posted, there's a lot of you that are asking for tips on writing. I posted on my community channel a writing practice sheet because some people like to do that. I did that for a while to practice with my pens. And um, you can try that. You can actually follow the letters. You can print it out and you can follow the letters and it will help you do better Blood lettering. Um, hold on. I'm sorry. I'm slow today. Um... So try that. And then I can. So I'm gonna only use black. If you guys notice, I'll only use black on the eyes, and that is, I use. I try to use the black and the whites on the eyes to try to get the most contrast there, so your eyes go there. Um, let's see. Um, the chick it. I think I butchered your name. I'm sorry. I think you've just revolutionized the way I look at photographs. I had no idea there were so many colors that made them up. Yeah, I really got it. Um, I get some nice pictures of my uncle's portraits when I go to California, and um, hopefully you guys could see what I grew up looking at. Oh, bring the good camera. Yeah. That'll help. Um, let's see. Okay, guys. Ellen's here. Say good morning. Good morning, Ellen. And um, let's see. Uh, we don't know yet what medium or what exact thing he's going to do next. He's leaning towards the 70s, but we're yeah. not sure yet. I'm going to do the 70s, and I think I'm going to do them in uh, colored pencils and watercolors. Mostly, I'm sorry. What, more markers and colored pencils. Hmm. 
Can lefties become artists? Yes, there's a there's a video on that. Um, there's literally no uh, disadvantage. Most artists, most artists are left-handed. There's no disadvantage. There's you. There's literally no difference between a left-handed and right-handed artist. Um, there's nothing stopping you or any disadvantage. Not like writing. Um, let's see. Our list of places that we want to visit is really, really long. So, um, it'd be easier to tell you where we've been than where we want to go. Um, let's see. Ursula, you're very sweet. We have not been to any Asian countries. We were supposed to go to India, but, um, that movie did not happen. But no, we have not been to any. The farthest we've been that direction is Hawaii. That is the farthest we have been. And those flights are long from where we are. Very long. Um, let's see. There's a video on proportions. And I don't know why you're opposed to tracing, but tracing is a good way tracing to go. Tracing is great. Yeah. Um, so... Yeah, I'd like to visit Australia, too. Um, oh, Cookie just got back from their first day of school. Good for oh, you. Good. And it wasn't bad, which is good. Yeah, I. you guys are really great at um, supporting each other. And I love to see that you're telling each other to post your art. That's really great. And don't be afraid to do that. We have a Discord as well, if anybody wants to post our art there. There's a lot of wonderful people. There are indeed. And everybody helps each other out, which is really nice. Okay, so let me get that white. Um, let's see. When will you do Ink Monsters again? Oh, um, that is... The ball is in my court for that because uh, Kim reached out to me around Christmas time to schedule something and oh he did yeah and I just have not had the chance to do that so that is on guys, me you guys are funny like do you have any idea what you're gonna do between the 90s and the 70s it's like <laughs> they want to know what you're doing with every minute of your time uh, it's no, really it, funny it's, it's great I I um I'm Figuring it out, I the good news is there's an abundance of things to do. Like companies have sent me some stuff to try out, some sketchbooks and everything. And I, I do want to do the go to Five and Below or Dollar General yes. and go pick up art supplies. So there's yes. so many things I can do. It's just only so much time in the day. And uh, and and I I really want to get the the dragon painting and the '90s done. So I'm I, I'm. I'm the kind of person who can't start something new until I've finished the one that I've done, uh, the, the thing I've started. So um, I'm just laser focused right now on that. Let me get the, uh, the dragon painting done. Yeah, that's really all he's been talking about working on. He's really, he was really happy to do the video yesterday. It was cute. Yeah, I'm at the easy part now, which is the painting. Because, you know, all of the hard decisions and the line work and everything are all done. Let's see. Ink Ivy says, Scott, you posted about taking your mom to the Louvre right after we returned stateside from doing the same. Um, oh, that's great. Um, they let my daughter write up to that. She really admires your work. Oh, that's great. Okay, we talked about the writing. Hi from Ireland. We talked about proportions. Um, yeah, the mods will put a link in for the Discord. All right, that one wild witch says, Hi, my daughter Ava is watching. She is a huge fan. She wants to know if you have any advice for a beginner watercolor painter. Hi, Ava. Um, I would say... The, the thing that, that is the most important is to work from your lightest colors, like your yellows and your pinks and your light blues, 
to your darkest color. So you got to build them up. You're one on top of the other. So you always go with your lightest ones because they're very transparent. So work light to dark and just get to teaching yourself that. Oh, and get good watercolor paper. You don't have to get great watercolor paper, but just get at least 180 GSM cold press watercolor paper. Watercolor paper is important. It is. It makes a real big difference. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, it's funny. I don't think um, I would have ever understood that until you started um, showing everybody the different kinds of paper. Yeah. You know? And um, sometimes Scott would give me like an old sketchbook he wasn't using or something. And I started to be able to tell the different kinds of paper and feel the different kinds of paper. And you know, I'm kind of a paper snob. I like a good paper. Yeah. Have you gone to Italy? We went to Venice last mm -hmm. year. Yep. That's the. Well, technically it's two years two, ago. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that's the only place in Italy we've been. And it was wonderful. Oh my God, forget it. Forget it. It was gorgeous. Everywhere you go, like the buildings are art and the, the art is art. It's just, it's a crazy. Um, <laughs> if you ever visit India, please let me know. I'd love to meet you in person. <laughs> okay, I'm sure we'll we will. let you guys know if we're headed that direction. My sister is asking, what are your guys' favorite scent? I like vanilla. Me too. Um, I like popcorn. Um, that That's just bad because that just makes me want to eat popcorn. Yeah. What about a series about trying to adapt to a new form of painting and coloring? Um, I've done that. A few times, you know, where I've tried different, you know, mediums and, and styles and whatnot, and I like doing that. Um, the thing is, it's more than just a single um, video. I mean, to, to get good at something, to really adapt to it, takes at least a year, and um, I just... Do you think it takes that long? That's what I did with gouache. When I needed to teach myself gouache, I took a year. I did a painting a day for a year. But you really think it takes a whole year to learn how to get good with something? To get good? Yeah. I mean, you know, unless it's like um, a very similar medium to what you're using, like if you're going from gouache to acrylic gouache. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, but it, it, it's if you're going from watercolor to gouache, it's a completely different thing. And hmm. I guess I shouldn't be surprised at the time that you're there, that you're saying there because I'm just I'm just now happy with my writing, and I've been doing this like three years now. Yeah, and I'm just happy with some of the the ways that I write things, letters now. Hmm. You got a good point. Um, Allison has been wanting to start a YouTube channel. Any tips? Um, do what you love and do it often. Uh, consistency is the key. Um, like do something where you can do, again, if you just want to just have a YouTube channel, you don't have to do anything. You can do whatever you want to. If you want to have a YouTube channel where people are going to come back and you're going to get subscribers, Give them a reason to come back. Yeah, you have to you, be consistent. You have to say, hey, I'm going to be posting three times a week or four mm -hmm. times a week or five times a week. Mm -hmm. And I am going to be doing this. And this is the reason why you're going to want to come and visit mm -hmm. me. And no one's going to just subscribe to you just because. Um, mm -mm. They, you, you need to give them a reason. Yeah, a reason to come back. Um, Scott, are you enjoying using the Winsor & Newton brushes? I love them for affordable brushes. Better or no different for you than the Utrecht? Um, well, I will say this. The, this paintbrush fluffed up a lot sooner than the Utrecht one did. Um, so I don't think it, it for me, it's, it's holding their point. Mm -hmm. Um, if I... <laughs> 
dry it off, you can see it kind of gets fluffy like that. Mm -hmm. That that means it's just useless to me. Um, so I, I the paintbrush that I will like the most is the one that is going to hold its point the longest. The longest. And the Utrecht did a pretty good job. The Etcher Labs did a pretty good job too. Mm -hmm. You used them for a long time. Yeah. Um, what would you say to artists who are discouraged about their art? Welcome to the club. <laughs> you are part of the coven of artists who hate their art. That is just what it's like because we see what, you know, we see the, the, the beauty that other artists are able to create and we go, why are, why are we such crap when these people have so much talent? We see that. Um, if you, uh, there was a movie called uh, Amadeus, and um, it, it basically centered around um, this this one composer who met uh, uh, Amadeus, who was this childish, juvenile, just really, really this. Yeah, you know, not a great person, and he wanted to hate him, but his music was just so amazing. Oh, he was okay. just like Mozart was just such a um, a prodigy, mm -hmm. and uh, and it just destroyed him with jealousy and envy mm -hmm. and like, you know, why is this man child who mm -hmm. just how is he able to do this just so effortlessly when I have to struggle yeah. to make something that's half as good? Mm -hmm. And that's how I think most artists feel. Is we look at, and that's why when I started posting this, my my videos, I wanted you to see all of the struggles that I yeah. go through yeah. because a lot of artists make it look effortless, and a lot mm -hmm. of artists, you know, like uh, Kim Jung Ji. Yes. Um, I think we're like a Mozart, like a prodigy right. kind of thing. Right. Um, but the most of us are all mm -hmm. struggling. We just don't show the struggles. Mm -hmm. We don't show the indecision or the bad pieces. Mm -hmm. And so I try to, to show that so that way you could see you are human. Human. And you're mm -hmm. doing okay. And the, the, the ones that make it are the ones that don't let that stop them. Mm -hmm. They do it for the love of making mm -hmm. art. You got to remember, too, everybody that's called a master, at the time they were painting, they weren't the masters. Yeah, they every once in a while you get, you know, like the Michelangelo's and, and whatnot who were treated like royalty and, and but whatever. most but, of them weren't. But most of them, yeah. Look at look at the Van Goghs. I mean, they you know. they died, <clears throat> you know, penniless, and no one thought their art was worth anything. And yeah. you know, it's it's not something you do because you're trying to be, you know, a Michelangelo. It's something you do because you love art, because you love yeah. what you're doing. You don't make art to become famous. You don't make no. art to, to no. make a lot of money. You make art no. because it's in your soul. Mm -mm. And it's something that you <coughs> And you have to remember, to too, do. people who show things on social media, this is for everybody out there. It is always your highlight reel that people see. They're never going to show you. Like, Scott's one of the few who shows you the struggles that he goes through behind the curtain. You know, and people don't show the struggles in their life anymore. And everybody struggles. I don't care who you are. I don't care how young you are or how old you are. Everybody struggles because we're human. Yeah. You know, and it's okay. It's okay to have a bad painting or have a bad day or have a bad test or whatever. It's okay. You can try again tomorrow. You know? Um, we have never been to Nepal, but I want to go there because um, you have red pandas in the cloud forest, and I want to go there. Where do you get all the ideas for your paintings? Um, it's 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 out there in the ether, you know. It's 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 out there floating around in the world, and you just have to keep your eyes open and and be looking for stuff. Um, a lot of stuff ideas I get from other artists. 
Like I had an I had an idea for like a mermaid um, the other day, and that came from being on. I just joined Tumblr, and someone had posted a picture of um, a photographer had had uh, just you know taken pictures of uh, some women in in like a pool of lilies, and they called them mermaids and whatnot, mm-hmm. and. An idea came to mind of some sailors underwater, you know, like seeking, and 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 that's where it comes from. But it's it's just, it's a rampant imagination, and it's so rampant. Oh my god! <laughs> and and it's and it's uh, subjecting yourself to other people's art. Mm-hmm. Hey, Santa just joined. Hey, Santa. Good morning, friend. If you guys have time, after our live, Santa's going to be doing a live. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Not going to tell you what he's doing, but it's going to be fun. Um, okay. How do you draw human figures from imagination? I tend not to. Yeah, he doesn't yeah, ever. He I, I don't. Um, photo reference. I use photo reference. Yeah. Uh, I... I if you're asking a question, how do you do it from, from imagination, then you shouldn't be doing it. In my opinion, you mm-hmm. should be studying what they look like from real life until you get so practiced and so comfortable with drawing them from reference that you feel like you could do them from imagination. But you need to study human anatomy mm-hmm. to, to draw human anatomy. Don't just draw it out of your head. Mm-hmm. Um, learn, study. Oh, Crimson got their literature teacher a glass pen for her writing, and she loves it. Oh, that was great. a very lovely gift. That was actually quite a perfect gift. I love that. Well, Jar. Hold on. Go ahead. Ha, ah, you tar you. That's funny. Payne's gray and cobalt blue make you think of us. Well, that's, that's very nice. No, oh, you guys are sweet. Okay, so many people want to know what you're doing for 2 million subscribers and are you going to do digital art again? Um, I have no plans for anything for 2 million. Um, I've been we at didn't think almost we'd get 2 this million far. for, <laughs> you know, for like two months now. Yeah. Uh, it was funny because you know, we were getting about two, three thousand 3,000 followers a day yeah. on average, you yeah. know, just... And then <laughs> December came around, oh, and it went down to like 150 new followers, and, and, and our, yeah. all of our views went down. Yeah. And and so it was kind of like they were like, "Nope, right before you go." And so I just stopped worrying about it. I stopped yeah. looking, and I'm just gonna just keep doing what I'm doing. Social and media is very weird. When we hit two million, we hit two million, but yeah. it's just another number. By the way, uh, Nixia's here. Oh, hey, Nixia. Good morning, friend. Yeah, the billion views is ridiculous. That that's crazy. Oh, um, Fatima says I used to draw a lot in school, but um, stopped since working full time. Then I found your channel and really encouraged me to draw again. Don't oh. care if it's bad. I just want to enjoy it. Thank you so good, much. Good, good. That's great. We have a new member, Monarch to Tyrant. Oh, well, welcome and thank you for being a member. Ava would like to know how. Um, you keep the paint from becoming muddy. Um, Good question, Ava. It's it, it does get muddy. You know, like over here is getting very muddy. And then you just go with gouache, you can go right back over it with a pop of color. Like, you know, see how muddy this is? And I could just go boom. And now it is got some color to it. Um, and that's, that's really it is... Does I'm the blow dryer to, help? The blow dryer definitely helps. Um, I, I I want to get as enough layers in there to where I think the skin just has some um, some volume to it, some depth, some some personality um, to it. That's that's what I'm looking for. And so I'm I'm looking at the photo reference. I'm looking for greens and purples and blues and and all of that stuff and then I'm I just keep pecking away at it and pecking away at it until I go okay this part looks good I don't need to touch that again and um, 
<coughs> he almost looks like a painting in the photo reference. It's kind of crazy. Yeah. Because he's so, his cheekbones are so dramatic. Um, we've got a couple of people who have just joined. Welcome. So tell them who you're painting today. I am painting uh, the lead singer for The Verve. Richard Ashcroft. Richard Ashcroft. They did the song Bittersweet Symphony. Mm -hmm. um, Scott has drawn so many of the Harry Potter characters. Do we have a Harry Potter yeah, playlist? Yeah, there's a, there's a couple of videos. It's not a playlist. Just look for, just type in Harry Potter Scott. There you go. Or, you know, Scott Zava. And then you'll see... Um, Oh gosh, it's so nice to have tea on a Monday morning when it's cold outside. It's lovely. Just so happy. Okay, let me see if you guys can see the oh. blue on the tip of his nose, the greenish blue. Can you see? Because it's red. Yeah. And then right there, see that bluish purples? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Look at that. See, there's purples. In there, some blues and greens in there. The reds under his eyes are killing me, though. Yeah, like they're killing me. Like it's so striking. But you can see, but you can see, there's yellows and oranges. There's these blues, yeah. really strong, like teals. Yeah. In there, you know. He, but does he looks like a painting in his in he the does. picture? It's crazy. Yeah. Um, Nicole, thank you. I feel so much better today. I have three days left of antibiotics and i think finally after about day 10 i think it was a bad one because uh i finally started feeling better but it took 10 days so ryan's here and says richard Af ashcroft looks very bittersweet especially after having to give all his royalties to the rolling stones right right you're so funny um this is windsor and newton professional gouache correct honey what? This is Windsor and Newton professional gouache. And then you said correct, which I thought someone said that. No, no, I'm yes I'm that. asking you, is that correct? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, hey, I'm a relatively new subscriber. That's C. Jonesy. How often do you do these lives? Hello. Uh, we go live uh, three days a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 9 a.m. Central, Central time. time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, how funny. Bunny Zilla says, I'm currently drawing Gene Wilder's Willy Wonka, the best one in oh, my opinion. Yeah. And his eyes are too big. LOL. Any tips for handling face proportions? Um, he had buggy eyes anyway. I mean. Well, he had great eyes. But I, I would say um, there's a, you know, there's a couple videos on drawing the face. I think there's a, like a whole video with the compilation. Um, but if you're trying to get a likeness just right, try tracing it. That's what all professional artists will do mm -hmm. is we'll trace it to get, you know, your client, the client's always going to want the best possible thing. They don't care if you did it freehand or if you did it in 30 seconds or if you did mm -hmm. it blindfold. All of that stuff that you see on Instagram or, or YouTube or TikTok where people are like, I painted this upside down, <laughs> and, you know, using just my toes and it, it's... <laughs> It's just, it's of no use in the professional world. It's all just performance art. Yeah. So yeah. when it, you know, when I went to art school, I, I was an illustration major mm -hmm. and they told you use every tool mm -hmm. available. Mm -hmm. Your client wants the best outcome. And that's so, mm -hmm. so if, you know, they showed us how to trace, they showed us how to take photo reference, mm -hmm. they showed us how to use photo reference, they mm -hmm. showed us how to, anything yeah. you could do, which is why you'll see me use every tool I have, mm -hmm. I, you know, I, for the dragon piece, I scanned it in, brought it into Photoshop, mm -hmm. I'm using it to do my color comps, mm -hmm. you know, we used to, back then, we would have to make copies and then color, yeah. you know, with markers yeah. on the, the Xerox that. copies, yeah. and, and, but, you know, it, it, people would say, if if you were someone on the internet back then, which yeah. there wasn't internet, they would say, oh, you're cheating by scanning, you know, by, yeah. by making a copy and co yeah. <laughs> you should be drawing separate. No, there's no should be yep. in art. Yeah. It's it's funny though. It's everybody thinks that that it's cheating, but what you're doing is you're giving yourself the best chance at a the best yeah. outcome possible for your painting. You yeah, know? I mean. Uh, you don't want to put all that time and all that effort into a painting and then have it be something that you're not going to like. Yeah. So why not use the tools? 
Like, like, um, would anybody be upset if they found out that Da Vinci traced Mona Lisa? You know, it doesn't make a difference. And and there's a very good chance that he did. Mm -hmm. You know, he took mm -hmm. he he did a drawing, mm -hmm. did another drawing. Yep. Traced it onto the piece. You know. Yep. Yep. Did, did that, that would not way... that wouldn't surprise me. Yeah. Do you want to know? I'll tell you something. I was at the that reminds me. I was at the Chihuly Museum in Seattle with my sister, and there were pieces up on the wall of drawings that he had done of of glass that he wanted to to make. And you could see where through the paper, he used both sides of the paper. Yeah. And they had put it on in glass. And so you could kind of see where he had written things and drawn on the back side of the paper to do basically like a, a sketch of what this piece was going to look like. Yeah. Every artist does it. It doesn't matter what medium yeah. it is. It doesn't... It. I, I think those sketches are phenomenal. Yeah. It's and like it, it shows it, their thought it process. It in no way diminishes no. the art. In mm -mm. no way. Nope, not at all. And I'll tell you something else. I have learned so much, not just from watching Scott, but I have had the good fortune of watching Bethany do some of her pieces and understanding her thought process with oils, which is completely different than anything Scott does. And let me tell you something, the planning and the forethought that goes into putting these pieces together, you guys, it's... It's just, and it's all in their head, which just kills me. It's like they can see the finished piece and what they want it to look like in their head. And they're just trying to get the best possible thing out of their head and onto the paper. It's, I don't know, I think it's amazing. I don't know, call me crazy. You're crazy. I know, well, what else is new? Um, Trix Stout sent you a ridiculously generous tip and says, hey Scott, my brother left for college and is doing arts. He's the best artist for me, and your videos help drive away the loneliness. Love the content. Oh, thank you. That's so sweet. I look forward to seeing your brother's art one day. I hope you can share it with us. I hope he can share it with us. Honestly, my head kills me too. That's just because you have so many good ideas in your head. Um, maybe the mods could put in the vote for the next letter. I love how positive your cons... Um, how positive your constant and community is. Oh, thank you. Yeah, we have a good community. We have a great community. And honestly, it is it is seriously all due to all the help from the mods that we have. They help everybody stay safe and stay happy and really, really, um, we just, we couldn't do this without them. My high school teacher refused to let us trace, but now 10 years later, I would rather trace so I don't have to worry as much. Yeah. Um, well, you know, and again, um, if you're in a school and they are trying to teach you how to draw, of course they're not going to want you to trace. And that's totally fine. Um, yeah. I, I just want to get rid of the myth mm -hmm. that tracing is cheating. It's mm -hmm. not. It is a tool. Now, if you relied solely on that tool, you're not going to be as good of an artist. Um, but there are artists who just can't draw. They do beautiful stuff and they trace. Um, but tracing is just one step. <coughs> you know, you can't trace your way into like a perfect piece of art. There's mm -hmm. the, the vision, the composition, mm -hmm. there's the, the values, there's the color. There's mm -hmm. so many other things oh, yeah. that tracing cannot help you with. Mm -hmm. And so just, you know, keep that in mind that tracing is just another tool. A tool. Well, it's the same thing as um, the tracing sheets I put up for the calligraphy stuff. Yeah. You can trace until you're purple, but eventually at some point you have to use your own hand and write on a piece of paper yourself. Yeah. It, they're just tools. Blow dryer. Okay, hold on. Go ahead. I wish sometimes you guys could see what I see and watch him paint from the desk because it's funny. Out of the corner of my eye, I see this the brush and going whoosh, 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 with the little wispies and the little painting. And it's just, it. and you look at the screen and it's like, ever since we were dating, okay, so this is like a hundred years, right? 
stuff just magically appears on paper and I just watch how he does the paint strokes and it just looks magical to me sometimes. Slow so. drum. Go ahead. Um, R, it depends on what courses. It, it depends on what you want to do. I mean, what do you want to end up doing? What kinds of things do you want to do? Marguerite says Da Vinci traced and so did Michelangelo. Yeah. Have you watched Owl House? Um, we tried, remember we watched that one episode? Oh, we did. They go through like a portal that's, or something and then there's like a witch right. and... Right. But no, we, we only watched like literally just one episode. I think we did the same thing with that something falls. Blow dryer. I think we did that too, yeah. We did, <laughs> and we only watched one episode of Wednesday. I wanted to finish Wednesday. I thought that would be good. I liked that. We're in the middle of um, Star Trek right now. And let me tell you something. Boy, it's written really well. Um, Ryan says the speak all the tricks and stuff it's like those drummers that do all the stick flip flips and things can you keep time that's all that matters yeah yeah it looks cool when they're doing it yeah honestly i was never into drummers but my god give me a guitarist and his fingers just float over the strings that's magic to me magic it's crazy guitar the bass the any um frago you're cute of course i'm gonna reply um, Paula says, hi, Scott and Donna just got diagnosed as autistic and your content has really helped. Oh, well, congratulations on the diagnosis. I hope that helps you find your way through this crazy thing of life. Yeah. And it is crazy. We were just discussing this last night. Just, yeah. just talking about this, you know, it, 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 it reframes everything in your life, but it doesn't have to be bad. It should just give you license to take care of yourself you know um let's see we don't know if academy of art is hard to get into anymore um it's been so long since scott was there yeah um so we really don't know you really should look at um all of the stuff that you know the requirements and everything else and sit down and look at all of that stuff I have a nephew right now who's applying to colleges and um, poor kid. I remember that with my two boys. It's a very stressful time, but do your research and just know that it will be okay. Wherever you land, it will be okay. Yeah, Wednesday is a great series. Y'all should finish it. Yeah, I want to finish that. We'll just add that to the, to the queue. Um, let's see. Strange New Worlds season two was amazing. The last four episodes, especially. I look forward to hearing your thoughts. Um, we are loving it so far. Um, Demonic Waffles, which by the way, I love that name. That's hysterical. Literally getting an autism diagnosis changed my life so much. I started treating myself kinder and not complaining, uh, comparing myself to my peers so much. Yeah. You know, um, I'm so tired um, of everybody thinking that everybody else has it better than they do because every single person's going through something. And I don't care if they show it. I don't care if their life looks perfect. You just have to be happy with your life and do your best to not harm anybody else in this world. You know, do your best to bring out the best in yourself and everybody else. And you'll, you're doing okay. I am you have rhinos in Nepal? Okay, I did not see that one coming. Wow, Megan says, I believe Academy of Art has online degrees now. It came up when I was exploring architecture, architecture degrees. Mm. Mm. Um, so Scott, with your paint, do you just put a swatch on the palette and use it for like a few days until it's done or what? No, no, no. These are all just plain color, plain color, plain, you know, these are just straight out of the tubes. Mm -hmm. And then I might have like, this is a little bit of white. This is like my cool white mixing, my warm white mixing. But for the most part, I just, these are straight out of the tube. I'm mixing, you know, orange and pink here, but I know that that right there is pure pink and that right there is pure orange. 
Mm -hmm. And I'm not happy with this part, but I'm never happy with this part of the face. <laughs> you don't do the nose thing well. You yeah. don't enjoy that. Like the next to the next to the nose. You complained yeah. about that last week too. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, so let me just tell you, if the mods answer your question, there are 237 of you here and we're trying to answer all the questions. But if the mods answer, please take that. They, they know us. And so their answer or them they're, they're referring trying to you know, you. get you an answer where Donic won't have time to yeah. answer it. So. Yeah, we're trying our best. So, um, yeah. And everybody... <laughs> Everybody, look, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be nice, but I'm gonna be firm this morning, okay? Because I love all of you, and it's Monday, and and I need some more tea. So, um, Scott doesn't plan this far ahead, guys. I'm, I'm telling you, the fact that he merely has even thought about a mermaid pe potential piece or a '70s thing, it, 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 he has so many ideas on any given day that um he'll go and he'll stand he'll get on the treadmill and he'll come down back downstairs and he'll go okay so i had an idea and it's not one idea it's like 27 ideas so what we share with you is things he's kicking around doing not things that are definite so there you go um do you use the tube gouache or the hemi gouache tube so the hemi gouache is good you know for the times that i've tried it but i you know i gave those away I was so worried Mr. Clock was not going to be ready for this week. Well, I just did it. I just put them back together. Oh. <laughs> Bethany and Nixie. Okay, here's the comments from Bethany says, promise we aren't making stuff up for funsies. We know them. Nixie <laughs> says, we know them better than we know ourselves. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so because they just keep answering the same darn questions, it's kind of funny. I mean, bless them for doing it. Let me tell you. Oh, gosh, they are so funny. You guys crack me up. Thank you for being here, you guys. Thank you all for being here, but especially thank you to our mods for being here. We love you guys so much. We could not do this without you. Um, I can't get into art at my high school, so YouTube tu tutorials are my art teachers. That is uh, chopped lettuce. Well, that's fantastic that you have that, you know, yeah. you guys live in a generation so in a lucky. time where you guys can yeah. do that. Yeah. We did not have that when we were in high school. No. We did not have the ability to just go and learn something on the internet. And we tell that to our boys sometimes. And and uh, they'll say, well, can't you just YouTube it? I'm like, what do you mean YouTube it? What the heck are you talking about? Mom, if you do this, you can just, you know, it's funny. that That's that's how they grew up. They grew up figuring things out and learning things on YouTube. Yeah. Fixing things and whatever else. It's pretty darn amazing. Do you think going to art museums is a good way to learn more about other artists' techniques? If so, can you explain why? It is. Um, I, we did a, a series called um, Studying the Masters. Mm -hmm. and 60 Days of, 60 studying, days of the studying the Masters. And mm -hmm. that just was really eye-opening to just see, um, Still to learn about Impressionism mm -hmm. and... Romanticism, romanticism and this and that, you know, mm -hmm. and, and, and I think that's something that going to a museum will do, Ugh. but you know, you, you have to, you have to go into a museum with open eyes to mm -hmm. say, I want to learn about this. Mm -hmm. And there's usually like tours and things like that, mm -hmm. or, you know, even just the stuff that's kind of written down for you mm -hmm. to learn from. But yeah, every exhibition will have placards next to the actual paintings and they'll have usually a pamphlet that talks about the exhibition and tells you a little bit more about it. And I will tell you this, Bethany and I went downtown Nashville to the Frist. They had a Beatrix Potter exhibit. For those of you who don't know, Beatrix Potter wrote Peter Rabbit. And oh my God, we learned so much about Beatrix Potter that we didn't know. She kept sketchbooks from when she was a kid. Her, her family, you know, had, they used to take dead animals and they used to sketch the animals. They used to sketch, you know, uh, they went to all the museums in New York and looked at all the different things. I mean, 
stuff that you can learn and the tours. Oh my God. If you want to learn about the, the docents that give the tours, learn all about the artist that's doing the exhibit. It's just, oh my God, it's phenomenal. So yeah, anyway, highly, highly recommend, but, but put the effort in if you're going to go. Blow dryer. Um, hold on. A lot of people will go to the exhibits and I'm, I'm not, I'm not throwing shade on anybody or whatever you guys say now, whatever the word is, but a lot of people will go to an exhibit and they don't really take the time um, to learn about the artist and to read about the artist. It does take time. It takes effort. If you want to learn about something, it takes effort. Totally worth it, but it takes effort. Um, do you ever work on aquaboard? Been tempted to try it, but I'm very nervous. Thanks. Oh, yeah, I did. Uh, I did a lot of work on aquaboard. Mm -hmm. I did my Animal Crackers movie poster on mm -hmm. aquaboard. Um, I really like it. It's mm -hmm. durable. You could beat it up so much. It doesn't um, ship well, though. It does not ship well. Mm -hmm. Yes, so it will crack when mm -hmm. you ship it. Yes. The postal service is very. But other bad. than that, mm -hmm. I really like it. Yeah, it's very thick. It's it was an interesting medium for you yeah. to paint on. It was it's very thick. <coughs> Santa says I vote for sixty days of studying the masters part two. You and me both. Yeah. You and me both. Santa says love the colors. Thanks. It's getting there. It's just. Uh... Princess would like to know how you learned how to draw. Uh, by practice, just drawing every day. Mm -hmm. You don't need a book or anything like that. You just draw. Yeah. <laughs> Jay Robert Dean says, I have a feeling based on what little has been revealed of her humor at Bethany Primrose could make up some really funny fake facts about Scott. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh God. She has seen more than enough. Let me tell you. Oh my God. Chopped Lettuce says, the problem I think with artists like myself is watching a tutorial and then copying it and going to the next and not practicing and learning nothing. Yeah. I, I've, I've gotten better at the, the things that I, that you see me doing by just being repetitive with it. Mm -hmm. And, um, and I, I, I don't think people realize what I mean by repetitive. I posted on on the Tumblr, because uh, I joined Tumblr for those of you who didn't know. Um, I posted, I think yesterday or the day before, just, I don't know, like a hundred or so of the little watercolors that I was doing every day in, 2000, in you know, 2020, just to keep myself uh, occupied and to keep teaching myself watercolors and that's really I don't think you guys realize how much I will do uh, something to, to try to get better at it and it really is a uh, practice is really the key it really is yeah I think but I think that's with anything you know? Yeah, but I think, you know, like they were saying that they did, you know, like, okay, I, I finished this chapter, I'm moving on. Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of it is just applying that stuff to what you're learning mm -hmm. gets missed out on. I wonder um, why that is. Do you think it's because in today's society people just expect it to be easier? I don't because know. Because it's so quick with like all a... of the, like, you know, social media, everybody's attention span is shorter now. Well, I mean, I, I'm, I'm the same way. I have a very short attention span and I just, you know, but for me, it's, it's just. Not with art though. Not with art. Mm -mm. You know, that's, that's the thing mm -hmm. is art was the one thing that I could just kind of slow down and just do. Mm -hmm. You've always been able to do that. You you don't like waiting in lines. You don't like, there's a lot of other things you don't like to do. You don't, if you don't like movies, you don't like them, but whatever. But for art, you've always taken the time. You've never really thrown in the towel on something and gone, I just can't get this, you know? Yeah. I mean, I, I've, I've had failures in art, but I mean. Oh, spectacular failures. Yeah. 
If you're going to fail, you're going to do it big, honey. Yeah. But you always are like, okay, what did I learn from messing this up? What did I learn from... Like when you spilled the ink. I know, I know, PTSD. You were able to go, okay, I spilled ink everywhere. What do I do now? How do I fix it? And you fixed it. You know what I'm saying? Like you, you just don't give up when it comes to that. And I think because of your love for what you're doing and your love for trying to figure things out. And we were just talking about this last night too, with Scott likes to have puzzles in his brain fixing, you know, figuring things out. I think that's a part of the art for you. The challenge is, okay, this doesn't look right. So I'm going to figure out how to make it look right. Yeah. And I think that's a, a, a positive puzzle for you that you like to do. Um, temporary name says, hi, Scott. Thank you for helping me on my art journey. I'm going to be placing two pieces in a gallery show soon. And it wouldn't have happened without your kind videos and community. Oh, that's wonderful. That is awesome. Congratulations. Yeah, that is huge. Congratulations. And Ren the Ren says, currently working on my art CBA, an Irish exam thingy. And your videos have been a massive motivation to keep concentrated. Fantastic. Oh, um, Sheepster says, I primarily use paint pens and I'm not sure how to start with gouache. Oh, um, get yourself a set of like Hemi gouache. Cheap, cheap gouache. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then just play, make some bad art, you know, just, just do it. It's, mm -hmm. it's, it'll, you know, I, I, I just make, you know, don't try to make like a big piece. You don't, you know, I, and, and I, I want to make sure that all of you know that when you start learning something, don't get a giant canvas and start trying to do it, you know, <laughs> five work, feet, work five like, feet. say, I'm going to give myself one hour yeah. and you work on a little four inch by four yeah. inch piece and then you put it aside and then you work on another yeah. one and you, yeah. and you do finish that little piece. Yeah and then move and you'll learn stuff with mm -hmm. every finished piece. Mm -hmm. You're not going to learn on a giant canvas mm -hmm. and then you're going to feel stupid for wasting money mm -hmm. on a giant canvas and all of that time on a giant canvas. Mm -hmm. Just try, just try. Um, Jamie Brown is here. Good morning. Hey, Jamie Brown. Oh geez. Spider-Man rules says, how do you decide what to do for the background colors when painting someone? He doesn't. Yeah, I changed He my changes mind it all 17 the time. times. Um, does Scott have an official art book like the art of Scott Christian Zava? No. Nobody no. should do that. That would be kind of cool. <coughs> oh, Strick Figures is back. Hey, I remember you. How have you been, friend? Wow, it's been so long since I've joined a live. No kidding. Here's to making 2024 a better lived year. Many thanks to this community for keeping me inspired. Oh, that's great. Well, right back at you. We are all looking forward to 2024 being better than 2023. We're all looking for that. Scott, is your desk that you paint on flat or at a 45 degree angle? That's oddly specific. Oh, it's flat. Mm -hmm. And he stands when he paints. So, yes. That's how that works. Um, All right, I think I'm going to do the background red like his nose. I don't know where you are, Paula, but if you're in the States, um, the zebra brush pens are $2.65 on jetpens.com, and it doesn't get any cheaper than that, um, that we have found because Scott uses them a lot. Um, and yes, he has done landscapes with no people in them. Let's see... Um, currently drawing outdoors. Ooh, that's exciting. That's Beatlemania. Love being outside. It's too cold here. My God, it's freezing. Um, I can't wait until spring and we can go back outside again. That'll be good. Is that your wife talking? No, I'm his girlfriend. <laughs> um, okay, so a couple of people want to know what is the best beginner sketchbook for young artists? Oh, anything you can get your hand on. Just, mm -hmm. just any sketchbook is fine. Mm -hmm. Beginner artist doesn't matter. You don't need any kind of quality or anything like that. Mm -hmm. You just need a sketchbook. Doesn't matter if it has lines go in it. Go to the dollar store. Yeah. Go to yeah. the dollar just store. Just go get yourself a cheap sketchbook and mm -hmm. fill it up. 
grab mm -hmm. a pencil or a ballpoint pen mm -hmm. and just sketch. Yeah. That's all you got to do. And just, just start somewhere, you know, draw your dog, draw your, you know, chair, draw, you know, the salt and pepper shakers on the table, draw your parents' coffee mugs, draw whatever you're going to draw. Um, the blues in this piece that you're working on are beautiful. Thank you. Blow dryer. Hold on. Okay, go ahead. Um. <laughs> Just for the record, Frago, the hippo was me. My character turned into the hippo. Frago says, okay, but the hippo in the Animal Crackers movie poster, that thing brings me unimaginable joy. That uh, was me. Yeah. No, Petunia. Yeah, that's right, you were. I was. But me. yeah, I, I, I love how the hippo came out. I think the hippo was the first animal I painted on that. No, I thought it was the giraffe. No, it was the hippo. Are you sure? Yeah. Mm, let's see. Let's see. Um, I'm, I'm going to butcher your name. Um, Amitba says, I'm 12 years old and you're legit my biggest inspiration. Oh, thank you. Well, we are glad you're here. Um, Chin Does Art says, I have ADHD. Welcome to the group. A lot of our friends here have ADHD. Currently one of my favorite artists. What is the best way to find skin tones when painting with watercolor or any kind of paint in general? Well, I have a video on skin tones with watercolor <coughs> if you want to look at that. Um, but generally looking at the photo reference, if you, if you, you know, just got here uh, early on, I was pointing out the colors that I was seeing in the skin, you know, from the photo reference. Um, I tend not to make up my skin tones. I will look at photos. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know what? You're right. You don't make up skin tones. Blow dryer. What about the centaur, though? We'll get back to the centaur in a minute. Well, some... Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm going to unmute you. Go ahead. I have some photo reference, mm -hmm. but, you know, again, I will be making that up. Um, Dragisa, what are you sketching? What? They're asking, what are you using for sketching? I need to know what you're, what exactly you you're want. You're talking to about know. the initial pencils is right. a dark purple Prismacolor pencil. Mm -hmm. If there's something else, then let us know. Scott, at the background, why did you use the blow dryer at that point? Um, because I'm going to go over it with, uh, like a white. Mm -hmm. What is the most cost efficient watercolor paint you can recommend for a beginner? Um, Crayola. <laughs> I mean. Okay, so Grabby has a set that you can use. Um, we would recommend another Hemi one, but they don't carry it in stock ever. They're like ridiculous. And I'm irritated mm -hmm. by that. I don't like um, this. Let's see. And then there's the. Um, Windsor and Newton, but that's not exactly like, um, let's try this. That's not exactly, um, less than pricey. Let's put it that way. <clears throat> I'm currently working on my first big sewing project. And although the medium isn't exactly the same, watching you encourages me to keep working on it. Thank you, Scott. Oh, that's See? great. That's what we're talking about right there. No, it's not the same medium, but same premise. Keep going. Why do you stand when you paint? Um, I, I hurt my back playing hockey, mm -hmm. you know, I don't know how many years ago, decade ago 20. or so. Yeah. But, um, and so I just found if I sit for too long, it hurts my back. So, mm -hmm. you know, standing, at least I could shift my weight and, mm -hmm. and whatnot. And shift his weight he does. One of these days, I'm going to sit behind you and I'm just going to record, like, or sit over here and just record you so everybody can see what it looks like, what I see. It's kind of funny. You guys think he's all, like, decked out and everything. He's in sweatpants and a t-shirt, and it's kind of funny. Um, oh, Strict Figures is so grateful to be here. I focused all my energy on health last year, and now I'm back to my art. You know what? 
sometimes you got to do that. Yeah. Good for you for making that a priority. <laughs> J. Robert Dean says, huh, figured he'd go purple for the background. Yeah, he always, at some point, you know, he's going to change it again. Oh, I, Layla's Art says, I haven't joined a live since October. Feels good to be back. Welcome back. How you doing? Kaylee Love says, awesome use of complimentary colors. Wishing y'all the best in 2024. Oh, thank you. I know it's freezing in Delhi, India. Actually, it's 14 degrees here. Wow. <coughs> One up girl says, I buy all my sketchbooks from the dollar store here. They, <coughs> I was really stunned at the quality of stuff and the amount of supplies you could find at the dollar store. Scott and I are going to do a run to five below because we went there, um, but we're just going to do, we're going to video it. We're just going to do it for sketchbooks and art supplies and writing supplies. We're going to do that at some point. Um, probably this quarter, maybe, maybe even January, February timeframe. We'll see. But, um, honestly guys, you do not have to spend a lot of money to buy art supplies. You don't. Um, there is a video on art block and Scott uses the blow dryer that he stole from me and I no longer have a blow dryer. Um, let's see. Did you have major celebrity crushes when you were growing up? Do you have an honorary celebrity crush now? Oh boy. Uh, um, don't, don't do it. Don't do it. Well, Donna has a hundred of them. Don't. I do uh, not have a hundred of them. Gosh. Please. Uh, but no. All I, I have to say is two words. Jennifer Connelly. Yeah, Jennifer Connelly. Lizzie <laughs> Carter. You know. Um, yeah, did you hear his voice change, people? <laughs> She's still pretty. She was pretty in that Top Gun movie. Yeah. I hate her. Anyway, there you go. Um, All right, I think we're honestly done. Scott is the man of my dreams. So I have no other crushes besides my husband. And if you believe that, I have this bridge in the middle of uh, the desert. I can sell you. <clears throat> Let's see. Echo says Jennifer Connelly. Yes, with big hearts. <laughs> That's so funny. You guys are funny. Do you read or see any manga art? <coughs> Excuse no, me. No, not anymore. I did <coughs> for a little bit in the 90s. Pencil sharpener. Thank you for that. People need that. Have you drawn any anime? Yeah, yeah. Um, really? You still think Paul McCartney is cute? And J. Robert Dean says, so, Scotch crushes are women who look like Donna. That makes sense. <laughs> oh my God, you are so sweet. You just compared me to Jennifer Connelly and Linda Carter. I, I'm, I'm, all right, you just made my whole day <laughs> right there. Anytime a woman can be compared to Linda Carter, who is iconic, is, forget it. I want to study body anatomy, but with parents that look through sketchbooks. Oh, but it's anatomy. How are you going to study it otherwise? You know, it, it's... Well, you know what? I shouldn't say that. My parents would have freaked out, too. Yeah, and my, my parents, you know... Uh, Your mom went did, to art school. I, I know. Like I said, I, I know it made them uncomfortable to see me drawing nudes and stuff like that. But, you know, you don't have to do nudes. <clears throat> you can do body anatomy. I mean, 99% of the time the people that you're going to draw are going to be fully clothed. Mm -hmm. And so, and, and, and in all honesty, the clothed figure drawing classes that I took were mm -hmm. so much more interesting than the nude figure drawing classes. Yeah, you never liked the nudes. They made you uncomfortable yeah. too. But the, I will say this though, the muscles that you were able to draw, like when, because at that point you were drawing like, muscular um like comic book characters and stuff yeah and when you were able to do the nudes you were able to see the muscles in the yeah. back and the muscles in the shoulders and the legs and it actually really improved your your um comic drawing yeah because you could see the muscles he didn't go to the cadaver lab though yeah they, didn't want they to wanted him to go to the cadaver lab and he was like yeah I'm not gonna do that I bethany says oh my anatomy sketchbooks are hidden non-artists don't usually understand that's very true. Non-artists do not usually understand, but seeing the human form, it it actually took, because I don't come from an artistic family at all. It 
took years of being with Scott and seeing how he sees these things and what he looks at, I have an appreciation of the human form now. I don't shudder when I see, you know, like statues and, you know, whatever else. I see the beauty in the human form, but that's over time. And that's coming from somebody who doesn't have an artistic type of a background at all. Yeah. It does take time. What is your opinion on copying other paintings? Uh, I think it's a great thing to do. Mm -hmm. um, I did 60 days of studying the masters where I copied the art and of 60 different God, masters. So you know? many. I think it's a wonderful way mm -hmm. to learn. That was my favorite series we've done. I love that series. I think we should listen to Santa and do um, 60 days of studying with the masters too. Okay. Yeah. Maybe I'll do it as a long form series. I think it would be fun. I would love to be able to, I could talk over it and I could read all of the facts about the artists. Oh, we'll see. We'll that see. would be fun. This is my first time joining a live and I regret not joining before. <laughs> oh, you're sweet. Well, well, Wait, are um, you done? I'm done, yeah. Oh, but it's, oh, we're on time. <laughs> Sorry, the human anatomy is such a beautiful thing, says Santa. It really is. It is. Aw, Paula says, my dog has fallen asleep due to your voice as being so calm. <laughs> It would be an artwork lesson to do muscles for the nudes, but clothes would also help with how folds and shadows work. Okay, I'm gonna expand on this with Duke. I, every time Scott does dresses or costumes or folds, he does the most beautiful folds in clothing and oh my God, stunning, stunning. Oh, Kermito says, my parents are super understanding about anatomy. I explained it to my dad, and the next day he bought me a book of human anatomy. Oh, that's great. You know what? You got some pretty awesome parents right you there. Do. Please tell them I said that. I love when we have supportive parents. I love that. Um, there are studies that show that art in any form, um, playing an instrument, drawing, you know, any kind of art form is super helpful for both sides of your brain as kids are growing up, you know? We always encouraged our kids. Um, but anyways. All right, so we're gonna let you guys go and we're gonna go get some more tea because Donna hasn't had enough today. And um, yeah, and we will see you guys. Don't forget, Santa's gonna be live in about, I wanna say maybe half an hour to an hour. So check out Santa's live after this one. And um, we're gonna go have some breakfast. Yep. That's the plan. Bye everybody. And thanks so much for being here, you guys. We really appreciate you. We will see you again on Wednesday for the letter W. Letter W. And don't forget to vote if you wanna say and who Scott's gonna draw for W. Is it gonna be Weezer? Is it gonna be the Wallflowers? <laughs> yeah, he. it's kind of funny. Um, Oh, Santa says, first long form video of the year today. My video premiere, we're making candy. I can't wait to see that. Oh, that's great. I can't wait to see that. I did mine yesterday and it was fun. Yeah. Oh, Lula, I tried your Irish decaf tea. Okay, for anybody who doesn't know, I've bought a lot of tea from the Tea Foundry who is in our chat. And I love your decaf. It's so good. Anyway, so if you want some tea, check out Lula's tea. It's good stuff. We will see you guys. Thanks everybody for being here and have a marvelous Monday and we will see you back on Wednesday. Bye. Bye everybody.